In this video, we're gonna demo a full machine learning cycle in Excel end to end using Python and Excel and Power Query. The data set we're using today is a customer churn data set. We're trying to predict the likelihood of our current customers churning based on past data, based on age, subscription length, monthly usage and feedback rating. I have this data in a table called train. I'm gonna go up to data. I'm gonna choose from table range and this will bring me into Power Query because I need to prep my data for the machine learning model. Now, some things the machine learning models don't like is empty data or data with too many distinct values. So I'm gonna deal with these directly in Power Query. The first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna duplicate this data set because I wanna get some statistics out of it on certain columns. So I'm gonna duplicate the column and then what I'm gonna do is go into my transform in Power Query and look at subscription length. Essentially, I wanna get a statistic of the median out of this subscription length. And what this will do is this will just create that field within Power Query. So I want to replace all the data that has a blank in the subscription length with that median. So I'm gonna go into replace values with that column selected. I'm gonna find nulls and I'm gonna replace them with zero first. And then in the M code in here, I'm gonna change this zero into my median sub. Now this is a workaround you need to do in Power Query at the moment, but that's how you can encode everything in the median. And you can see that 26 is in the null values now. So next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna bucket columns with too many distinct values. And we do this by creating a conditional column and then bucketing into age bins. Now in a real machine learning project, this would be a bit of trial and error to see what the bins are, but I'm pretty confident of my bins here. So I'm just gonna create a number of different bins from age. So I'm gonna go greater or equal 25, 35, 55, and everything outside, which gives me a bucket with four bins. Now I just need to change this into a numeric column, and then you can see my bins there. I'm gonna do the same for subscription length. So I'm doing five bins for subscription length, and then I'm gonna take out all the columns I don't need. So I've got the bins now, I don't need those other columns, and I don't need ID. I'm gonna close and load this back into Excel, and then we can start our machine learning. So I'm just creating a connection in here, and step two is data modeling. So with Python and Excel, I can go and do all my Python imports, and then I can import that data set into Python and Excel. You can see the data set here. If you're wondering about the code used for this, everything is on GitHub. I'm gonna put a link to that down below, but I'm just gonna cycle through this Python here and just explain what I'm doing in each one. So now what I'm doing is I'm taking my dependent variable, and I'm gonna split that into X, Y, and then I'm gonna do a train test split on these, and then I'm gonna fit my model to the training set. So basically I'm just training my model here, and I've trained my model here, and now I can predict my test set. To evaluate how my model did, I pulled out a classification report, which tells me my model is 98% accurate. So I can then look at some other characteristics of the model, such as the coefficients to see what is moving the model. And then we can also look at the probabilities of churn for each prediction. We're gonna be used this later when we go and fit this to other data. So I've got a table of new data sitting in my Excel, and this is really bringing the model into production. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pull this table of new data in, I'm gonna predict the probabilities of churn, and then I'm gonna add that to the data frame. And this has used the machine learning model I've built in order to have a churn prediction on each of those observations. And the best thing about this is that I can pull this out into Excel so a business user can come in and just see the probabilities of churn. And another fantastic thing about this is because this is an Excel table, I can go in and put a new row in and automatically this will predict my probability of churn and have this out in the Excel page. So I found this model very easy to build and I think this is very accessible for end users who just want to use a machine learning model to add additional metrics to their data understanding. I hope you found that useful. Please subscribe to the channel for more data analytics tutorials and check out these videos.